Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Geometry Chapter 7, Section 6 in this book. But you can just learn about this topic if you want to. What we're talking about is something called transformations. And transformations is taking a shape and moving it somewhere else and it keeps its same size and shape, but we move it. Now, this is the last section in this of this chapter, and this chapter is the one that has the most to do with design. I told you in one of the other videos that these are used with graphic designs and all kinds of things. So what we're gonna to talk today about today really isn't all that important for geometry, but just to kind of let you know that if you go to art college, Savannah College of Art, or Atlanta College of Art, or someplace like that, you, they might um, use this idea of sliding these shapes around or moving them around and they might abbreviate them. So, so in, in particular they want to talk about freeze patterns. So a freeze pattern came from ancient Greek architecture that they would decorate their buildings, it was supposed to be all pretty, and then underneath the triangle part, they'd decorate the triangle part, but underneath they would do a repeating pattern right in there. Now, they, would all, they were very regular and they were repeating. Mine's modern art. Mine's, mine's uh, impressionist because it's just little colored dots in no particular order. So mine isn't really a freeze pattern at all. Mine's just a freeze, no pattern. But the freeze patterns, they're horizontal translations in other ways. It's repeating shapes down in a strip. So there we have some of them. Now they can be um, abbreviated. The translation is the slide and it's T. So if you just slide one down, it's T. A rotation, they abbreviate R, but that's not for any rotation. That means rotate 180 degrees all the way around. A reflection, remember, is a flip, but you can either flip over something horizontal or vertical. So H is if you're flipping over something horizontal. V is if you're flipping over something vertical. And a glide, remember, is a slide, then a flip, or a flip, then a slide. And its abbreviation is G. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what are some of the transformations going on in this lovely freeze pattern that I drew. So, can you slide the pattern down onto itself? Yes. So this is a translation. Can you rotate it and it get on itself? Nope. Can you flip it and it get on itself? Nope, the waves would be going the wrong way. Can you flip it vertically or horizontally? Nope, no flips. Can you slide them flip? No. So the only one that one is is the translation, the slide. Now, some of these others could have more than what I'm pointing out to you. Okay, so this one I got this spiral that starts here and goes around, and then here and goes around. So, can this be a slide? Yes, if we took two of them. We could take these two and slide them down onto those two. So, this is a um, translation. Can we rotate it 180 degrees? Yes. See, it keeps rotating 180 degrees. So it's both a translation and a rotation. Okay, how about this one? LL77, LL77. Is it a translation? Can we slide it? Yes, if you take two and slide it down. So it is a translation. Now, I think it's also a rotation. Flip, flip, flip. The book didn't say it. The book says it's a slide then flip. Slide, flip slide flip, slide flip. But like I said, some of this is kind of open for interpretation when it comes to that. So you're not going to be tested on name all the transformations that's present in this freeze. You just sort of need to know they can be abbreviated and that they can be looked at more than one way. So how about this one? It's like half a butterfly the other half, half a butterfly the other half, half a butterfly the other half. Can you slide it? Yes from here to here to here. So it is a translation. And then it's also, you're flipping over a vertical line. So it's a reflection vertical. Flip, flip, flip. Now, could you turn it over and it map onto itself? Yes. I think it's, if you took two of them, I think you could do it as a rotation. It doesn't really change it. So, like I said, some of these are interpreted, open for interpretation where you could get some more out of it. In your book, they show you how they also 
um, th there's a, in a green box they show you patterns and, and what they think they are. Just, just take a look at it. This is nothing to sweat, nothing very important. Just take a look at it. And then they have some patterns from nature, a rattlesnake skin, and then another snake skin. Very interesting. They have some freeze patterns from architecture to look at and then drawing a freeze pattern. So it's really fun, interesting, definitely an artistic component to this. Take a look at everything, see if you can see where they're getting it from, but this is not super important. It's just interesting and fun. So have fun with it and come back for chapter eight and we'll get back into more geometry, less art. All right, math is great.